surely an Oscars to remember in a night that had tear jerking speeches, award upsets and plenty of laughs. Host Jimmy Kimmel is getting mostly positive reviews for packing a punch at this year's awards, except from former President Donald Trump. Kimmel fired back at him after reading Trump's review on True Social. There were many highlights throughout the show. Let's go out live to the Dolby Theater now. ABC 7 News reporter Luz Pena is down in Los Angeles for us with the biggest moments from Hollywood's biggest nights. Luz, take it away. <laughs> JR from the red carpet to the actual show. It was a great night at the Oscars and Oppenheimer dominated this year's Academy Awards. Oppenheimer has 13 nominations. Oppenheimer became the biggest winner of the night, taking seven Academy Awards, including the coveted Best Picture. Thank you so much. <laughs> Best Director for Christopher Nolan. But to know that you think that I'm a meaningful part of it, means the world to me. Thank you very much. Best actor for Killian Murphy, who played J. Robert Oppenheimer, known as the father of the atomic bomb. <laughs> A set of wins that put to rest the competition between Oppenheimer and Barbie, which won one of its eight nominations. Ryan Gosling lit up the Oscar stage with the best Kennergy performing the Oscar-nominated song, I'm Just Ken. The Oscars were also a night of first-time nominees. On the red carpet, we caught up with Bay Area filmmaker Sean Wong. Did you ever think your documentary was going to end up nominated and you were going to be here tonight? No, you know, I think we made something really special. We, As we were shooting, as we were editing, we knew that we made something that we love, that I think would be would honor them and their joy, their humanity. His now famous grandmothers from his documentary Nanai and Weibo said they received a Hollywood treatment ahead of the Oscars. You're Bay Area celebrities and now you're in Hollywood. Hello. Oh, we're so uh, proud of our grandson. Bay Area Oscar nominated filmmaker Leo Chang was proud to be nominated for his documentary Island in Between. Being on the red carpet was part of the dream. Exciting and uh, I think it's everything I thought it would be and then some. We also caught up with Dave Mullins and Brad Booker before their Oscar win for the best animated short film with John Lennon's son, Sean Anna Lennon. Probably the biggest thing that, you know, my dad taught me and and my mom um, that, you know, the hard work pays off. And of course, the Oscars also had some unexpected moments with John Cena presenting the Oscar for best costume design, Naked, recalling an infamous incident on the show 50 years ago and Emma Stone's broken dress as she won best actress for her role in Poor Things. And despite Bay Area nominees not taking a golden statue home, they all had the same sentiment. They were grateful and honor, honored to be nominated tonight. In Los Angeles, Luz Peña, ABC7 News.